into part three, which is the four stages to increasing your prices. So here we've got, uh, this is, all, this is the, the, the pyramid that we showed you from the worksheet earlier. If you've printed this out, then definitely start writing this in. If you have not printed it out, you will want to write this pyramid because this is a big, juicy secret. People, they don't want you to know about this. They, people, you know, like culture, they want to keep things down. So commodities, start at the bottom. Tell them about commodities. All right, so commodities are things like, for example, rice or coffee beans on the open market. A commodity is is almost, it's the same thing across the board. There's very little difference between the rice you buy from one farmer and the rice you buy from another. So things that are commodities are characterized by heavy, heavy price competition because price ends up being the number one differentiating factor. Uh, when, you're, when you have a commodity-based business, you find yourself discounting a lot and trying to undercut price in order to land new business. And then you lose business to other people because there's very little loyalty involved mm -hmm. in a commodity business. So here's the rice. Now let's move on to the next level. So that's that's normal everyday rice. But if you were here, we, we have the next level of the pyramid is the specialist level. So with a specialist, it's something more defined. There's a niche and there's still price competition, but a little bit less. You can get some referrals and it's still pretty widely available. So the comparison in the rice analogy would be regular rice versus maybe organic rice. Mm -hmm. So organic rice has a little bit of a differentiating factor so they can charge a little bit more. <clears throat> the next level of the pyramid is the master specialist. The master specialist has a very clearly defined niche and unique value proposition. They don't face as much competition on price because they have a, a demand for them. People are referring to them. Um, they have incoming business. They've, they get referrals and they've mastered the art of scarcity and delegation, which we'll talk about in a bit. So the example for that would be a specific brand of organic products like Annie's. So Annie's not, it has lots of different brands inside of Annie's and they've differentiated themselves within that organic market. Mm -hmm. All right, so then the final level of the pyramid is the celebrity level. The celebrity level is a clearly defined niche, just like the master specialist. Um, they, they have no very little to no price competition. They say no to business more than they say yes and they have a lot of referral based business. So, and then the, the beauty of being the, having the celebrity status in a field is that you can take that status and use it as a platform to grow and to leverage the business so that you can create much more impact and you can broaden the audience from there. The biggest mistake people make in branding is they try to operate from the commodity standpoint and, and create a wide offering there and they find that they're just not referable. They're not mm -hmm. top of mind mm -hmm. for anything. Mm -hmm. So the example of a, of a celebrity would be like a Whole Foods where you can go there and get a bunch of different products inside the niche of organic and healthy. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's look at what this looks like in a service-based business. So in a service-based business, a commodity would be the example of, say, a doctor, a general practitioner. There's very, uh, there, there's very little differentiation among general practitioners as doctors. They're, you know, that you can find them everywhere. Their prices are not high. Uh, they're a commodity. So if you move up to the next level, the specialist is someone like, say, an orthopedist, someone who specializes in bones. So there's it's more there's more opportunity to generate referrals from that from there and there's a niche. Now the master specialist is for example the best spinal surgery in Miami. If you can use the word the in front of the name, then you know you're get you're talking about a master specialist. The best spinal surgeon in Miami by the way operated on my mother. That's how that's who this guy is. So a master specialist <clears throat> excuse me has a clearly defined niche and a unique value proposition. They're well known, they face little price competition, and they get lots of referrals. And then finally, we have my favorite, Dear Dr. House, who's a celebrity in his field. He's a master diagnostician. People come from around the world to see him. He makes tons of money. He says more, no more than he says yes, and most of his business comes in through referral. So the way you move up this pyramid is a series of <clears throat> differentiation steps. So step one from commodity to specialist is to specialize in a niche. Step two to move from specialist to master specialist is you've got to differentiate yourself from the other specialists. From the master specialist up, then you need to just build buzz, create scarcity around you so that there's a there's desire and, and demand. 
And then finally, at the celebrity in your niche level is where you leverage into more offerings and making more money.